This is Roger with Wheel Kinetics in Tucson, Arizona. We're selling this truck. It's a 2002 Dodge Ram 2500 quad cab, uh, short bed. It's a Laramie SLT. It's a 5.9 liter Cummins turbo diesel. The block ID on this is 05K0. Okay, 05K0 or 05K0. Um, Four wheel drive SLT quad cab short bed 117,977 actual miles very low miles it was a theft recovery purchased directly from an insurance company in Seattle Washington um, when we bought it we already knew that somebody had stolen a bunch of stuff off it obviously high dollar stuff it came with a bunch of uh, spare tires and wheels on it it had no front bumper so it probably had a winch on it we could tell under the hood from the photos that we bought it on that the intake was missing, so we knew it probably had banks and all that stuff, which it did. Um, so they stole a bunch of stuff we had to replace. Anyway, we brought it here, we do an inspection. Uh, my guys hand me this, it says, oh my God, a little heart, a little cross through it. <laughs> very low mile, very well maintained, holy grail. <laughs> my guys right, how are we, why are we selling this beautiful truck? Everything this truck needed was due to theft. All right, so this is what it needed. New tires and wheels, which we paid $1,075 for at uh, Discount Tires. Uh, it needed the Banks High Intake Elbow, Banks Monster Exhaust with Power Elbow, Banks Master uh, Monster Muffler. It also needed the AFE Airbox Assembly, Front Bumper, uh, Upper Pad and Balance. Uh, the ignition was broken due to theft. Both door locks were broken due to theft, so we had to replace both of those. Um, let's see what else. We also serviced the front differential and we replaced the driver ABS sensor, uh, driver front ABS sensor. Um, we also want you to know it, they didn't steal these, but they're expensive. Uh, they probably wish they had. It has Magtech rear differential and transmission covers, and it has uh, Dynatrack locking hubs which are about 1600 bucks so basically just 1075 830 uh, there's probably gosh we probably have three or four thousand dollars in aftermarket stuff on this thing very valuable nice stuff um obviously brand new tires i'll walk around this thing if i see something cosmetically that matters i'll point at it um, we do have a photo gallery that will have 60 to 80 HD pictures. Um, if you were to go to the photo gallery and find this photo of this part, you could zoom in on that rock chip or whatever that is. Um, and uh, it'd be just like you're standing here, you know, literally. So we encourage you to use that little ding right there. And this truck is sweet. Um, today I was watching online the uh, Mannheim Las Vegas auction and I saw an 01 with 130,000 miles run through and it sold for 15,000 to dealers and they gave it a one out of five condition rating, which is terrible. <laughs> uh, so these are valuable. Anyway, this is the damage they did when they were trying to slip their tool underneath. They probably could use a little bit of touch up paint right there, right? But it's not too bad. Here's the rough. Wait till you see the bed, look at the bed. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? When you see a bed that's that straight in a truck that's uh, 17 years old actually it's 18 now they're starting to sell 20s like i said the ex the exhaust from the tip all the way to the motor to the turbo to everything is brand new ma uh, banks has this rub mark on here so it must have had a camper shell on it because they don't come with uh, uh with uh, uh tailgate caps dodges don't so it obviously it had a, uh, so there's a Dynatech differential cover. Look at the bed, <laughs> the tailgate. Usually they'd be hammered. Not this one. It's got a little owie right here in the bumper. Boy, this thing is gonna be an absolute free for all. So if you want a truck and you want one of these, I can guarantee you it's going to be expensive. It was a I, I paid a fortune for this truck, but uh, I had to have it. See how they did this, like right, right in here? I don't know why they broke into both sides. I mean, get in one side and then unlock the door, right? Um, the biggest, pro the only problem with this truck, believe it or not, is the uh, is the uh, driver's seat. Um, we believe, after looking into it. It does this, it goes up and back and up and down. 
right? And this tilts up and down. This switch doesn't work, so the seat that goes up. But what's weird about it also is we can't get the seatbelt light to go off. And then we look under the seat and there's only plugs, like there's three plugs when a seat like this requires about 20. So we think this was a manual seat and the previous owner switched it out because um, he wanted to have a power seat. That's what we, what we believe. We could be wrong, but we weren't there for that day. So we're trying to put it together. There you go. This is what it's all about right here. Look at this thing. Absolutely beautiful. New battery. Thanks. No blow by at all. Stickers where they all belong. New battery. Here's the brand new air box. This is all brand new. So all brand new, brand new, and then from the turbo all the way out the back is brand new. That was all stolen. All right, let's see. All right, let me show you some paperwork on this truck so you know what you're getting into here. Here's the uh, Kelly Blue Book. I think it's way low based on what I saw today. Um, O2 Ram quad cab short bed, 117,977 miles. Typical listing price would be 17.7 with a range of 15.4 to 18.1. I think if you could buy this truck for 17.7, you're, uh, you're getting away with murder. But I don't price them, my brother does. Um, here's the Carfax. History based value. So they blend the Carfax and the Kelly. They come up with 17,770. Again, I think that's really low, but whatever. I'm just reporting the news. Um, there's the uh, van. No accidents reported. The damage report is clearly the stuff that was stolen. Um, we did this Carfax today, which is 8 2. This is a brand new Carfax. All right. There's page one of the Carfax. H2, very boring Carfax, which is awesome. I like boring Carfaxes. It's like it lived right there in Washington, Renton, Washington. And then it was stolen 6 9 of 18 and recovered 10 15 of 18. Damage report to the front, yeah, they stole the, <laughs> the bumper and everything, so that's kind of obvious. Um, here's the uh, title. Uh, this is a clear Washington state title. There's the VIN. Other good news, it was a USAA, so a military guy owned it. They always take care of their stuff. I always buy USAA stuff. Washington clear title, and they signed it off to Wheel Kinetics, okay? I don't put stickers on vehicles because I don't believe it's a very smart thing to do. So this all came with all the new exhaust stuff that we bought. You can put the stickers on yourself. I cannot bring myself to do that. Plus, you're telling people what's under the hood of the vehicle which is not very smart in my opinion. It's probably why they get stolen. <coughs> Seattle truck, so you're gonna look down low on the doors and you're gonna look for rust and there is none. So I would say that that guy took really good, there's just a little bit right here actually. I would say <laughs> that guy probably put it indoors every night or it wouldn't look like that. There's your door van right there. Look at the back seat. Freaking brand new. Headliner looks great. Perfect. Excellent. There you go. Alright. Driver window, passenger window. See, mirrors out in up and down other side out in up and down tilt wheel there you go all right let me get some AC in here man I am freaking hot it is a swamp today so that's that hot it's probably maybe only a hundred it's monsoon and it's decided not to rain it just wants to get nice and steamy and gross so anyway I just put the seatbelt on and that stays on. Uh, we're not dealing with that because 
does need to be dealt with. Um, we're telling you about, so you know, there's cruise control. I just turned that on, it's right underneath the auto. See that? Off, on. There you go. Let's see, we got overdrive, off, on, off, on. All right, radio, let's see. Three seven for Blues and Bisbee to benefit. It does have a little crack right here, a little piece. This is a very expensive piece. Um, I would not even bother with that. I would just take care of it, maybe get a dash mat. Uh, those bezels are notorious for that and uh, they're very pricey and hard to find too. Um, let's see, what else? Let me put it in a neutral. I'm gonna go up to four low. Now I'm in four low. See where it says four wheel drive right here? That's four low, that is definitely granny here. In reverse, that's four low. Nice, this thing runs great. All right, let me see. I put it neutral. We go all the way back. Now we're in four high. Let's see, we're still in four wheel, but now we're in four high. That's a little quicker. And reverse in four high. Perfect. Neutral. Now we're gonna go to two wheel drive and go for right. Boy, this thing's smooth too. Sometimes you got to struggle with those floor shifters. Not this guy. Um, all right, come to Sun Drive this home. The following will happen. You will pay your state tax rate, whatever that is, plus our city tax of 2.7% and a $250 dock fee, okay? That's if you come here to drive it home. If you pay by wire and ship out of state, all you're gonna pay is agreed upon price and that's it. Um, there'll be uh, no tax, no dock fee, um, nothing. Uh, if you do pay by wire and ship out of state, once we receive full payment, we will fill out the title with your name or your company's name and address. We will sign it off to you. We will scan it into your online file and we will mail it to you. We even scan in the envelope we mail it in. God, this thing runs great. Absolutely perfectly. Love this truck. <laughs> Seller's remorse. Um, oh, this is gonna be a popular one too. Probably the first person who sees is gonna buy it. Um, so anyway, the title will be mailed to you. Uh, you'll have the truck shipped to you. Once the truck shows up, you'll already have the title from the mail, and then you'll just go down to motor vehicles in your state and get plates. Very simple. Um, deposit is $500. Once we have a deposit, we'll put your name in a banner or your company's name in a banner over the truck at wheelconnects.com, and you will know that it's yours, and so will everyone else. Um, once we do that, we'll put your name up there, and, and uh, everyone will stop bothering us. This is really important on this one, so don't dawdle. I would say that if you're late with your uh, deposit, you're probably gonna have a problem. I would say that uh, <laughs> no deposit means you're probably gonna miss the truck. Uh, this is gonna go quickly. If it's uh, Friday afternoon, I would bet my life by Sunday night, this thing was long gone. Um, so be ready with your deposit if you're serious about it. Last part of every video, I say the same thing. Um, we don't have salesmen. I say the same thing in every video I do. So if you were to look at any video I've done, you can verify this. Um, we don't have salesmen. We don't have bottled water with our name on it. We don't have a you know lounge to hang out with all day in all day and play video games and have lattes and stuff like that. They have that at Precision Toyota, um, and you're paying for it in the price of the vehicles. You're not paying for any of that crap at our price because we don't have it. Okay. Uh, the other thing you pay for over there is uh, future repairs. They know that when something breaks, you're gonna wanna get it repaired. And so they puff up the price a little bit more for that, for salesmen, for lattes, etc. cetera. Um, and we don't. Uh, we don't because we're not fixing your truck. Uh, we do this, we've been doing this for 12 years and we have learned, we give you all this information up front so that uh, A, you can make a good decision and B, you can be the owner on day one and uh, C, uh, so that uh, you know that uh, the day you buy it, uh, you are not going to be getting a check from us if something breaks, okay? We've told you everything we know about it. The only bad news we have about it, kind of bad news, is the seat. It doesn't affect me at all driving it, uh, but we're not sure why the uh, seatbelt light's not going off. Uh, other than the seatbelt works, uh, <laughs> Uh, which is what they're supposed to do, right? But uh, other than the seat, 
itself, I don't think there's anything wrong with this truck at all. But that being said, if something breaks, whether it's a window motor or a radio knob, the lighter, whatever it is, you're gonna fix it. We are not writing a check for it at any time, any anywhere, anytime, for any reason, no labor, no parts, nothing. If that doesn't work for you, we don't have a single vehicle on our property for you. And our property is jammed. I've been saying this at the end of every video for the last two weeks. We have too many vehicles coming in. We are packed right now. We need to sell vehicles. So I'm sure this is gonna be a disappointingly low price that my brother is gonna put on this because he has eyeballs too and can see this mess. <laughs> we have too many trucks, so we have to sell them, all right? So that's another advantage uh, on the price also. Uh, but, but, but I think that's about it. Thank you for your time.